that's the Maokais. We're going straight for the skill matchups and Jack put down deep wards. He's actually just been focusing on farming, playing very defensively, even when his laners are doing good. Certainly not going to say that with the mid lane. Oh, flashes in, go! He knew the damage BDD gets a solo kill the third time around, pushing Crown out of Still, he's in a weakened state right now, though. Right, Crown's at 600 health, and Ulti could almost kill him, of course, across the wall. We're going to go for this one. He's going to wait for the stun to land. Ulti pops across. Not enough to kill Clint's play. The second uh -oh. stun comes in, and that's going to be BDD. Falling Ambition was waiting for the play, and the first time of Worlds 2017, Ambition. Pretty nicely only down nine, but Ambition now wants to make it a bit more difficult. Looking for the top lane play. QA pulls out, go first. Ulti comes across, trying to dodge the auto attack. But will it be enough for Samsung Galaxy? Could be holding aggro, letting Ambition go for the duel, but he can't do enough damage. He's gonna try again, but he pulls oh. aggro with Pod. Could pick him up. One more attack, go slay him. The pass are gonna try to time out. Oh, but Ambition charges the back for it. And early though, in the fog of war. Oh, gone to the tank, though, not easy to kill Ambition. Knock him out of the back line of mouth. He's gonna flash away, some crowd out of the fight. Now the cat is with the front line. Look for Ambition. Getting lower and lower, 400 health. No taking attack. One more shot will do him in and pray. Gets him that kill. Now Ruler on the backside can't get the kill because he's gonna stay alive through the satchel. And now looking for one more chase in. The blast going to get him a bit to safety. Sanks and Galaxy going to disengage. Hey, Bube in the 1v3 finds the kill on the parade. Does he have more teammates around the hook to buy some time? One more shot will do him. In Khan gets it. Gorilla knocked back to safety. Now Core JJ also cutting back gets the shield. But Khan is on the chase. As soon as he gets the leap strike up, he gets himself the double kill. Now the push off for Ruler flashing the stun. Gets himself another 2-2. Two to two. Into this one over the wall goes Kuz. Going to be point of house down about half. Points available for both drunk. This fight comes in. Blue team picks it up. Oh, on. grabs it off. Ambition Smite actually comes in a little earlier on that one. Now they re-engage the giant. Then comes across and Prey losing his life yet again. Out he goes. 4v5 in the chase for Samsung Galaxy. Will not find there yet. Their next engage. It. He's gonna get there. This is where the extra. Uh oh. Talking about stats in the front line. Low health going tank. But look at the back line. Access out of Khan. And Kuz coming in for that one. And BDD gets the first kill to Core JJ support. Maybe not the best kill. But their jungler's dead. So 4v4. Prey looking for more. He's gonna find himself that double kill. As the opposing marksman has gone. Gorilla staying alive. The hook knocked by Gatlana Kube. And he can't get anything with a slicing mills from a whiff ultimate out of the AP cannon. As Khan chases for a bit more ambition. Likely to lose his life. One more shot. I'll do him in. And yes, another trade of kills. Two for three. Favor of Long you so far as Kube. I want to call attention to the second item finished by Jax. It is not a Play the Ruin King. Gorilla hits Mallet. A hook true there. It is not something like a Tiamat that you might see for pushing. Is Nick. Double ult's coming across. Plenty of damage. There's a pressure as well. Watch. Still dies the explosive charges. Ruler gets himself that kill. There's the damage at work right there. And I actually like this response from Khan with his teleport down. Never mind. Sun on the front line. Looking to get the kill on the Gorilla. Not just yet, though. Staying alive for a bit more. Kuba the side is going to lot out of this one. He's going to go for the re engage, but Khan now might be running out of health. 400 health on him. That 800 now as well. The Hexmaker pops. Still barely stays alive, but one kill comes through as a knockdown ambition. The tank stats were enough. Khan made the right choice. Survived the ultimate as one kill came through for long I was just about to say, I like the reaction from Khan. It's a very small gold investment to pick up a hex shrinker this late in. But it oh, might start going. Nice. Crow's gonna die for that one. Nice pick up by BDD, knocking him down with the trade kill. Comes in with the protocol. Not gonna quite get that hook though. And Rulo tried to predict that one, but the kill gonna come through the hook. The jump on and he's gonna knock down Prey. Yes, he does. The double kill actually comes out of Kube. Advantage Samsung Galaxy. Big disconnect from the so way. There is no contest for this one. Samsung Galaxy turned the fight win into a 30-minute Baron, and they've now got a sizable grip on this game. Those could be combos to take out oh, anyone. That's the hook. That might be the play playing on the two, but he's going to get away with this one. Gorgia Day staying alive. The re-engage comes across to the front line. A lot of health bars. Just getting pushed down as Cuz flashes away. Stays up on this one. The stun is going to break Crown Zofi as Khan looks for the duel. This one, the magic of the stack, helping as much as he can, but the team re-engaging as Cuz still finds the kill. Right. Khan does him, and Khan refuses to die, but finally does. Two for one, they get three. Make it four. Alive, but he's been cut short as that was the best team by Longju. Engage gives across looking for Crown. They've got rid of the passive, but he's gonna get able to flash down. Redemption gets a bit of health back on the squad. The re-engage for Core JJ. They still don't have the player just yet, but one kill in for Ruler. The suppression comes across. This should be two as Khan will drop, and that's a clean two for nothing without even having their top laner. Longju knew that and by the time QB arrives, it's a free baron. A second free baron of the game might be the death now predicted earlier. In this case, Gorilla. One more away for the push. Almost lands up on a Core JJ. Not quite a root on a mission. But again, it's tanky. Stun's gonna land on the front line. Frank is where the push to the sash, and that's some of the big cooldowns missing. Into the front line goes Cubs with the Cataclysm, but now he is alone and a bit isolated. The turret's gone, and he's been shut down. Ambition getting himself that kill as the turret's already fallen. Now the inhibitor to stay alive at 5v4 with minions inside the base is almost certainly the game closing fight. No big ults left for Samsung. They could they saw Prey zoned from damage because Kube still has Flash Ultimate up. Big stun, Kube is not gonna quite fall a heal for good measure. It wouldn't have died anyway, but still.
The team able to as the siege now pushes into the mid lane, 5v5, looking to knock things down. They pull in Ambition, they find the Sun and Akai's. Here comes the charm, the jump in the recombo. Doesn't quite get anything yet, but the turret's gonna fall. Ambition low, but still taking enough to stay alive. But if she buys a bit of time, Gorilla though below 1k HP as the push continues. Gube, free time on the side, a few more shots will knock down the last turret, and there is only the Nexus left to knock down. The Sun really gets away the lock and device, side as well as Prey. Can't quite get in the dodge away from Kuz. One kill picks up, now make it two. Kuz gonna fall, makes it three and four. All five gonna drop as Prey is just trying to make it happen he can't do it that's gonna be game one going to samsung galaxy what an opener samsung strike first here gaining the advantage in this best of five series both teams rolling the dice with new strategies a new take on the meta samsung was more standard they left the last pick for qv we said needs to step up needs to contain khan pretty big a pretty big pass mark to him there was a